Come on, let's drink. Come on, come on, one more glass. Aren't your mother waiting for the money? This job offers you thirty to forty thousand. Oh, Miss Chen is coming. You know me, Mr. Quan? Last time you disappointed my club done. Got it. You you are the rapist. Don't say it like that. I recognize you when I heard your voice, if not because of your report. I won't get in jail for half a month. How should you repay me? The club sucks. <laughs> Sir Kwon. Why didn't you inform me ahead? <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Three years, I finally find you. Tintin, you finally believe me. <laughs> believe you? I just come to have a look. You abandoned me for a rich businessman. Now you degraded to sleep with this man. What? What? Mr. Kwan. This kind of women is dirty. You better protect yourself. It's not good if you get infected. <laughs> it's a Shen. It's my sudden impulse. It stinks. <laughs> it's my fault. It's my fault. <laughs> Brother Chin Cheng, you are wrong. She is not that kind of woman. She is Chin Yao. <sighs> oh, Meng Yao. It's been three years. How did you end up like this? Prostitute is not a promising career. Don't do such silly thing. Right. How can you believe me? I was just a scapegoat in your mind. However degraded, it's not your business. Three years of happy life. Did you forget that you had killed someone? Meng Jin is dead. Why should you live? You should die too. What I say three years ago, I would say so now. I won't admit what I didn't do. I also feel sorry for her death. <laughs> How dare you call her name? <laughs> Brother Chin Chang, don't get angry. <laughs> we don't have evidence. We cannot pin her down. Evidence? Do I need evidence to settle her now? Brother Chin Chang, where will you take her? You abandoned me for a rich businessman. I thought you've been a rich woman. Chen Yao, do you remember what you said three years ago? You dumped me and killed Meng Jun. We should clean this out. No! It's not about your will. Chen Yao, I shall tell you. Not everything can get away with time passing by. You should pay back. Chen Cheng, how many times should I explain? I didn't kill Meng Jun. It's not me. You talk tough. Never cry before you truly face death. I am not who I was three years ago. I won't be fooled by you now. Shen Chen Chen, don't hurt my family. He wants revenge for your love. I will pay her back with my life. Your life is not important. You ruined the person I care most. I will ruin yours. This is what we call revenge. No, it's not like that. No, Meng Jun is your first love. How would I hurt her? <gasps> How dare you speak of her? Chen Yao, you are hot. What are you going to do? What am I going to do? Let me see what you've got from three years' work. No! No? How will you reject me? Oh! 
Oh, you're generous to me earlier. Is it just because I look similar to Hamang Chun? Serve the wine. I need to talk to you. You come to me so quickly. Didn't I satisfy you earlier? Jin Hao is in trouble at school. I don't know what to do, but ask you for help. You want me to fix it for your brother? Alright, you should back me with sincerity. How do you want me to do? Serve Mr. Liu the wine. A maid shouldn't serve wine like this. Mr. Shen didn't teach you. Let me do it. You either sit here or you kneel there. <laughs> <laughs> you choose to kneel, prestige, but no deal. I like it. <laughs> Let go of me. <laughs> Shen Tingting, you watch me to get insulted. <laughs> A little pity. Let go of me. Let me see. <laughs> Stop. Stop. <laughs> get out. Hello, Mom? Yao Yao, school has just called. How house trouble is settled. Who did you find? It's really a relief. It's for my brother. Thank you. Only words. How do you want me to thank you? To confess that you were the killer three years ago. And ask for a new trial. Meng Jun, I have promised you to leave Chin Teng. Why would you find me? I didn't kill anyone. I won't confess. Then I will call the school to withdraw the donation. Let's see what will happen to your brother. Okay. I will confess. Fine. I will turn myself in. Yes, I killed Hwang Chun. I don't know why the brakes weren't working. No, I didn't hit the brake. I want her to die. If she dies, I'll be Mrs. Chen. I'm really sorry. We can't convict Miss Chen. Why? 
Surveys have shown that the vehicle that driven by Miss Chen, its accelerator and brakes have been modified. Though Miss Chen confessed that she did it, but after our investigation, there's no evidence to prove that she did it. She's too smart for that. The society bases on the rule of law. Without evidences, we can't arrest her. You can go now, Miss Chen. I didn't realize how clever you were at this. Even the police couldn't find any flaws. Chenya, you really got something. Since the law can't make you pay for it, then I'll have to make you pay in my own way. <laughs> Let me go! Where are you taking me? Didn't I just say? I'm going to make you pay in my way. You're going to Hainan with me first. No, I will not. Think about your mother's medical bills. I'll work to pay for it. Are you counting on a cut of this contract? Even if you want to trade with a subsidiary in Shen Group, you have to ask me if I agree or not. Without this contract, will you be able to pay for the bills then? Fine. I'll go. Get off. What the hell are you doing? You forgot what you did all those years ago. This is where you killed Meng Jun. Jin Jing, why won't you believe me? I gave you the chance. It was you who disappointed me like this. If you want the money, get out of the car. I want you to know how scared Meng Jin was and how malicious you are. Okay. As long as you promise, the money will be sent to my mom. And it won't hurt my family anymore. Maybe it's for the best that I don't need to be humiliated. Hey, yo yo, come to my place. What happened, Brother Jing Jing? Jin Yo fainted. Come and take care of her. Okay, I'll be right back. Brother Jing Jing, I'll be off then. Okay. I mustn't keep her. Finally, I get a chance. I cannot let anyone take Jing Jing away from me. I didn't expect Jin Ting to be so determined this time. Jin Yao, sorry, I should have pleaded for you, but Jin Ting said that you committed a crime, and you can hardly absolve yourself from the blame. Jin Ting, I am dead inside. After what you have done to me, I still expect you to believe that I am innocent. You are going to die anyway. Tell your secret. I'm the one who killed my sister. And now, it's your turn to die. Now, no one will compete with me for Jin Cheng anymore. <laughs> that was your sister. But she got in my way. Anyone who gets in my way deserves to die. You are completely out of your mind. How does it feel to be wronged? If I were you, I won't be around Jin Cheng anymore. 
You brought this on yourself. Poor Shen Jinting, for he cannot tell that you are the malicious one. You are a malicious woman. So what? Without your pretty face, what are you going to fight me with? Even if you kill me, he won't like you. Even if it's not me, it won't be you. The living still have a chance. But the dead, they don't get a chance. In the end, anyway, Brother Jinjing will only have one woman, me. <laughs> You're crazy. I'll cut your face with a knife first. And then pour it with boiling water. What do you think of that? Why don't you just kill me? What's the point of torturing me? You wish! I won't kill you. I'm going to torture you slowly. Oh yes, there are rats here that have been starving for days. They'll all come for you in a second. Hermann <laughs> Yao, how twisted have you gotten to do such a horrible thing? Your sister and Chen Cheng have been kept in the dark. Everyone's treating you like a victim. You're letting them down. Shut up! Why hasn't she brought Chen Yao back? Mr. Sun, we haven't seen Miss Chin. Miss Han left early this morning. Can be sure that she's not in the city right now. Go and find out. <laughs> Chin Yao, you got away once. Do you think you can do it another time? You don't even have the strength to stand up now. What do you have against me? In a few miles around, there is no one there. Who do you expect to save you? Chin Cheng. I haven't let you fall in love with me yet. Yo yo! Yo yo! Brother Shinja, help me! Brother Jinjin, help me! She's going to kill me! It's okay, I'm here. That's not true. Chin Yao. Chin Zheng, I can't explain. Chin Yao, what else do you have to explain? You have killed Meng Jun, and now you want to kill Yao Yao? Did you fake you fainting? No, I didn't. She can help me. Shen Chin Zheng, believe me, she told me that she killed Meng Jun. Xiao Yao is Meng Jun's sister. How could she have killed Meng Jun? Chen Yao, how could you make up such a lie? There's nothing you can do. Brother Chen Cheng, I'm in pain. We're going to the hospital now. After Yao Yao gets well, I'll come back and settle with you. Even if you say so, Brother Chen Cheng won't believe you. I'll find the evidence. Heaven's net is white meshed, but nothing escapes it. You will pay for what you have done. Imagine, if Chen Cheng finds out, what would he think? Who do you think you are? How dare you threaten me with brother Chen Cheng? Let me tell you, I can kill Meng Chun, I can kill you too. Even if you killed Meng Chun or kill me, he will never love you. Although he thought I killed her, he kept me alive. Hamang Yao, he doesn't love you or even want you. Shut up! Who do you think you are? You don't deserve to act like this in front of me. Chen Yao, you're nothing more than a dog. Brother Chen Cheng, she said I deserve to die. And she said my sister deserves to die too. She also said she cursed my sister. Even if she didn't die, it doesn't matter. She said about me, but I cannot stand it when she said that about my sister. How dare you!
Hmm, that girl. Didn't you ever suspect Hei Meng Yao of Hei Meng Chen's death? Only Hei Meng Yao benefited from her death. Chen Yao, what dirty tricks do you want to play? I'm not that stupid like I used to be. I won't believe you. Hei Meng Yao told me herself after she kidnapped me. She told me because she thought I was going to die. I'm not lying to you. Go look into it. It will be all clear if you look into it. About what kind of person you are, I know it all. You want to frame Yao Yao? You have to ask me first. Never mind. Meng Chen is alive and well in heaven. She would be disappointed in you. What did you say? Say that again. I said, you're too blind to see the truth. Meng Chen would know it from heaven, and she would be disappointed in you. Chen Yao, believe it or not, if you mention Meng Chen again, your brother won't be going to school anymore. Fine. Believe her if you want. He told me before, if I come to Hainan, he'll sign a contract with me. Sign it now. I'll take my card and leave you alone. All you want is money, isn't it? Okay. I give you the chance. What are you doing? Bidding now starts at one yuan. The bidding starts now at one yuan. She's pretty good looking. Who is she? I'll give you two yuan. Three yuan. See, that's all you can get. A hundred million yuan. Who is he? Who is that? He is so handsome. She's smart, beautiful, and talented. I say the hundred million yuan. She's supposed to be priceless. I just think it's time to end this force. A nice girl like that doesn't deserve this. Come. I'll take you home. Thank you so much. I mean it. No need to say this. You've spent so much money. I... How can I pay you back 100 million yuan? I can be your friend with this money. I think it's worth it. If you really feel bad about it, you can just buy me dinner some other time. Okay. Anywhere you want. Okay. This is my card. Done with the hookup. Why don't you invite him home? What do you want, Shen Jinjin? What do I want? Chen Yao, why do you act so pathetic flirting like that with Xie Jin? I don't know him. He's just being kind to help me. Kind? Kind enough to help you with the hundred million you won? What now? Have you spent all the money the rich man gave you? And you can't wait to find another rich man? You think you deserve that? Yes, I don't deserve it. But, Shen Jinjin, what do you want from me? Can I even hide? What's it going to take for you to let me go? <laughs> ah. Who do you think you are to hide? Don't think I'll let you go just because you're showing weakness. You owe me. Remember? I paid for you. Take the money and pay him back. Until your debt is paid, it won't be over that easily. Thank you for last night. Let me give you your money back. A hundred million you want is just a number to me. You don't need to. Sorry. Please don't make this difficult for me. Okay.
Cousin, why are you here? No wonder his name sounds familiar. I'm having dinner with my friend. She killed my sister. How can you have dinner with a murderer? Aren't you afraid? Don't say that. Miss Chin is innocent. The police has already investigated, right? Thank you for speaking up for me. It's not like I'm speaking up to you. You are innocent. Just telling the truth. Anyway, thank you. If there is anything I can do for you in the future, I'll do my best to help you. All right. What's up? Willing to come back? Why not stay with Xie Jin? Jin Yao, why are you so pitchy? You can't live without a man. You even seduce Meng Jin's cousin. Shen Ting Ting, how many times I explained to you, I have nothing to do with Xie Jin. You never believe me. You dare to refute me. I tell you, Jin Yao, don't rest easy that you find Xie Jin as your sugar daddy. In my eyes, he's nobody. You said I was a murderer then, so I was. I paid the debt, but Shen Ting Ting, we used to be together for so many years. You won't say that if only you know a little about me. What's up, Mrs. Shen? We haven't seen each other for three years. Why don't you invite me to have a seat? It's too late. Please go back, Mrs. Shen. Take it easy. I just gone wrong. For Jin Chang's sake. It's not good to drive me away. I say it directly. Yao Yao told me that you're entangled with Jin Cheng again. Nope. I just saw Jin Cheng come out of the building downstairs. Don't worry, I know what you want. I have no expectation on him. We have no relationship. You're a smart girl. What happened before, you don't want to experience once more. Not everyone can get close to Jin Cheng, let alone a village girl like you. Don't touch me! Mrs. Shen, I dare not forget. That's good. I hope we won't interfere with each other. It's for your own good. I want that more than anyone, that we won't have to interfere with each other for my whole life. Hello? Brother Bing? I want to tell that I want to quit. Why do you want to quit all of a sudden? You just signed a big contract with Shen It's hard to take over your job. I am so sorry. I'm going to move house to another city in a few days. Then come to my office. Let's have a face-to-face -face talk. Alright. I'm on the way. Sir, please drive me to the hospital. Okay. I have his baby again. Miss Chen, right? We suggest you to have an extensive checkup in case of any incident. What checkup? I've already had a B-mode ultrasound. Oh. 
Jin Yao, I warned you to stay away from my son. Since you ignored my suggestion, don't resent me for what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? You'll know it in a few seconds. <gasps> don't touch me! <gasps> It's just a small thing. Do you want to die? Please lie down. How's my baby? Isn't that you want to do the surgical abortion? Hello? She's too weak to answer the phone because of the surgical abortion. When was you pregnant? I'm not... Who got you pregnant? I have no idea. After all, I'm a gold digger. I was fucked by so many rich men. It's normal to get pregnant. You're right. Though you're such a bitch, you have no right to do anything to my child. Or have a paternity test. You'd better pray that I'm not the father. Please listen to me. You are so unwilling to have my baby? No. I... That's my baby. How dare you make the decision. Chen Yao, you are so bold. This is not the end. If you dare to have the surgical abortion, you must take the responsibility. You two, keep an eye on her. Before I'm back, don't step out of the ward. Yes, yes sir. sir. I was wondering why I lost touch with you these days. Sorry, I didn't check my phone. Don't say that. It's my fault you got into such a big trouble. But I failed to come here in time. Our company had some trouble with Shen Group, so I got stuck. Mr. Xie, I am very grateful for your kindness. Do you want to get out? I'll help you. I want. What do you want? Shen Jin Chang, you've gone too far. When do you plan to set Miss Chin free? Mr. Shi, when do you become so warm-hearted? It's my personal affair. It's none of your business. Don't be afraid. If you want to get out, I'll help you. Chin Yao, you owe me two lives. Sorry, Mr. Xie. Thank you for your kindness. Hear that, Mrs. Shea? You'd better not let her be destroyed by you. You want to get out? You can get out if you want. 
From now on, you should be by my side whenever I call you. You should do whatever I ask you to do until you finish paying the debt. Clear? Got it. I have to live here with my family in case Shen Tin Tang take revenge on them. Jinyo, thanks to you, our company signed the contract with Shen Group. How do you say move house and plan to do it at once? And without telling us ahead? Brother Bing, I'm really sorry. As for Shen Group, I'll find someone to take over my job. Now, I'll give you a promotion and with a double basic salary. Three more months. Is that okay? Hao Hao is going to enter the university. Alas, being your mom, I'm so useless. We could only count on you. All right. Okay, it's a deal. Our company is preparing a party for you tonight. Don't forget to come. Yep. Today, the first drink. Let's propose the toast to Chin Yao. Our company won't be better without her. Tomorrow, Chin Yao will be the leader of the sales department. You should learn from her. Brother Bing, I'm very flattered. I just did my job. What happened, Berlu? She's gonna take your place. How did she sign the contract with Zen Group? Who knows? Maybe dirty tricks? Go and find me in Sichang Hall on the second floor. I'm sorry, I need the powder on my nose. Miss, you're in the wrong room. I called her. Not enough waiters here. So I called her to serve us. <laughs> uh, uh, Sister Yao, why are you so careless? Brother Ting Ting, look at what she did. Lick my shoes clean. Brother Ting Ting, I need that too. <laughs> so you can do anything as long as you can get money? <sighs> Shen Jinting, you asked me to do that. I owe you. Well, let me tell you how to pay the debt. <laughs> Shen Jinting, we're in the public place. Don't you say you're paying the debt? All right. <laughs> oh, don't touch me. <sighs> Where did you go? We're waiting for you. The last toast is there for you. If you don't come, we have to stay here. <sighs> I'm sorry for the delay. Sorry, some other day, I'll invite all of you out to dinner. Miss Chin, who gave you a love bite on your neck? I saw Mr. Shan pass by from upstairs just now. Miss Chin, such a beautiful young lady. Have good abilities. As your senior, here is a suggestion for you. It can't last long to sell your flush. Oh, that's enough. Since we finished the meal, let's get out of here. Shen Jinjing, is this all you want? I'll drive you home. No, thanks. Never mind, Jinya. I'm sure tomorrow there will be no gossip and scandal in the company. Mr. Shea signed a contract with our company just now. I'll tell them. I'll fire the one whoever spreads gossip. Hello? Come to the hospital, Yao Yao. Your grandma is dying. Huh? 
Mom, what's wrong with Grandma? Yo, yo, your grandma is in a coma. Doctor said that she can just live for a couple of hours without blood transfusion. Her blood type is RH blood group. And doctor said there is only little blood in the hospital and another patient needs it too. I'm afraid we have no chance to get any. Yo, yo, you've been staying in this city for a long time. Can you find any solutions? Can your friends and colleagues help us? Yo, yo, mom. And don't worry, I'll do something. It's you that need blood transfusion. But you're fine. Chinyao, I just had a car accident and have a severe internal injury. Could you please not have a blood transfusion? I owe you. If you give it to my grandma, she needs it to save her life. Do you think why I had the accident? You did it deliberately. Hmm. So I did. And I get the blood deliberately. And I want her to die. <laughs> Hemang Yao, if you have something unsatisfied, just come at me. Don't harm my grandma. She's in her 70s. You are so conscienceless. Sister Yao, I've just told you I can give you a quarter of the blood. But you cannot force me to give you all the blood. I want to leave too. I want to leave too. I just want to force her to death. This is what happens when you go against me. Kenyo, what the hell are you doing? You should ask her. There is nothing wrong with her, obviously. She had to rob my grandmother of blood. My grandma will die. Yo Yo had a car accident. She had severe internal bleeding. Doctor said she needed large blood transfusion. She's bleeding badly? Does she look like she's hurt? Shen Jin Tang, she said she was trying to kill my grandma. My grandmother had a hemorrhage. She's lying in the ICU. You're just gonna let her die? Brother Jinjie, otherwise, I got down on blood transfusion. She's not satisfied with a quarter of the blood. I'll give up half. It's still a living being. How can that be? The doctor said your body won't recover with that blood. Don't use your body for charity. She's not worth it. Sister Yao, what are you doing? You're a kind girl. I beg you. My grandma is old. She cannot stand any toss. She's going to die if she doesn't get a blood transfusion. Sister Yao, you're trying to kill me. Previously, it was my fault. I apologize to you. I promise I won't get in your way again. I can be beaten and scolded as long as you give her a blood transfusion. I can't tell to you until you're satisfied. Have you had enough? Get up. I'll try to find the right blood source. You go out first. Yo, yo. Thanks to you this time. We are all family. We don't say two words. 
Just passing by. Get out of here. What's up, Jin Yao? I'm here to visit Grandma. You sent chrysanthemums to visit my grandma? Do you think I don't know what you mean? I didn't hit you. Get out of here. Don't let me see you again. Ah, sorry. I have been studying abroad before. I don't know so much about it. You just don't blame me. Brother Jin Cheng, I really didn't know that sending chrysanthemums is taboo in China. I just came to visit grandma. But Sister Yao couldn't help to drive me away. I... Yao Yao has been studying abroad. Chrysanthemums represent vitality, symbolizing longevity and health. It's not her fault. Shen Jin Cheng, she is a native Chinese. And she has only been abroad for three years. You're willing to be fooled by her like an idiot. But don't treat us all like fools. That's enough. I'll apologize to your grandma for her, okay? Chen Yao, maybe you should apologize to Yao Yao too. Why? Yeah, I want to thank her for the blood, but she didn't do anything. Until now, she still curses my grandma. Never mind, Brother Jin Cheng. Now I can understand the feelings of Sister Yao. Let's go. Hope you get well soon, Grandma. Hello, how how? Grandma is fine. Don't worry, just study hard. Sister, I have a good news to tell you. I am enrolled by Zhejiang University. Really? Be it outside tonight to celebrate it. How how? Are you short on money? Sister, don't worry. There is still some. Alright. Then see you tonight. See you then. Brother Jin Cheng, you look. Is it Sister Yao? Sister, there is someone looking at you. Never mind, just eat. Well, it's not our business whether she's here. Well... Brother Chin Cheng, will I be excellent the same as you? Of course. As you grow up, you will be more excellent than me. I want to grow up faster than I can protect my sister as you. And don't need to worry about that my sister will be in suffering. Great. Chin Yao, your grandma and you are lucky. If you have balls, go for a plastic surgery, change your face, and don't appear in front of brother Chin Cheng. Otherwise, I won't let you off. Hmm. It's his business that he doesn't love you. Why don't you put your effort on him? Just trouble me. There are many people in the world. Even without me, he'll also come across someone else who looks like He Meng Chun. I don't care. It was He Meng Chun before and now it's you. I only want to fix you now. You are nothing. How can you stand beside brother Chin Cheng? But he has never touched you. Even someone like me, he has also found me several times. And you? That's because brother Chin Cheng cherishes me. Bitch. You're not in a position to insult it. Yo, yo. <laughs> Do you know what you're doing now? If there is someone taking photos of you, how do you be a decent girl in public? Brother Jin Jin, just now, she insults me a bitch. Then I... I have something to show you. Listen to it, and you will get the truth. I have never do harm to anyone. I am really innocent. I am really innocent. 
Brother Ching Ching, the truth is that just now when I went out of the toilet, there was a drunk man. He rushed to me and pushed to the wall. Then she kept all the thing recorded and she said she would let all the video to the public. Nonsense! I didn't take this kind of video at all. She is lying. She is afraid of hearing the record. She just admitted that she killed Meng Chun. Listen to the record up and you will get that. Anyway, if that kind of video is let off to others, I'm going to kill myself. I'm going to kill myself. Shen Ching Tech, she is really cheating to you. Please believe me, just this time. Well, if you really watch that video, then I will kill myself. <laughs> yo, yo, what are you doing? Give me that. No. This is the evidence she killed someone, and she should be punished by the law. I cannot give you. I say give me the mobile phone. Brother Jin Jin, thank you. Yo, yo, you go back first. Jin Yo, I remember I have told you that don't touch Yo Yo. She is young, unlike you, having a malicious heart. You have forgot what I said. I have a malicious heart, and she is naive. Shen Jin Jin. You are tricked by the calculating woman. You are foolish. Yes, I am foolish. I am tricked by the calculating women. That's why Meng Jun died. Forget it. Do whatever you want. The commissions before are about 200,000 yuan. These are enough for me to move with my family. Hello? Yo, yo. What's up? How is grandma? The doctor checks it out. It's uremia. Need to get a new kidney. It depends about 500,000. Grandma is healthy in daily life. Why is this without any omen? It's my fault. Grandma said she had a pain in her waist, sometimes urinating with blood. But the doctor in town said it is inflaming, so I didn't keep it in mind. Today the checkup shows that it's uremia. Grandma is so old. The success rate of the surgery, how many can it be? Only 50%, but if we don't do the surgery, Grandma can only live for several months. It's lucky that there is a matching kidney, so the doctor advises the surgery, but the cost of surgery... Your uncle and I plan to sell a house in hometown, and the deposit is up to 100,000 yuan. I have 200,000 yuan. I will transfer it to my mom's account. You take it to pay for the surgery. I will raise the rest. Yao Yao, too much money. How can you find a solution? You cannot do anything wrong. Don't worry, and I see that. Brother Bing, could I borrow some money from you as the wage advances? How much? 200,000 yuan. Don't worry, I will return it. My grandma is sick. She needs the money for surgery. If you asked for it before, I still have some spare money. But I have bought a new house. What have you asked, Mr. She? Well, I try other ways.
What's up? Shen Tin Tang, can you lend me 200,000 yuan? My grandma has uremia and it's money for surgery. I'll pay you back. Why don't you go to Sei Chen for help? Why are you looking for me? I... Come to Feng Yue Tower. I'll give you money when you come. Okay, I'll be right there. Sister Yao, what's so urgent? Shen Tin Tang, can you lend me money? Did I say I'd give you money? You said you would give me if I came. If I said I'd give you money, you have to be able to take it. Try it. How to try? Go. Put on her clothes. Didn't you hear what Mrs. Shen said? Take the money and go. Someone else will do your job. What's the matter? You don't dare to wear it? Okay, I'll change. I think you're quite suitable for this style. Don't you think so? That's right. I've changed it. Can I have my money now? I've changed it. Can I have my money now? Pick it up. Kneel down and pick it up. Sister Yao, don't be like this. You have no dignity at all. I feel sorry for you. I've never seen such a shameless person. For a few thousand yuan, you're such a loser. Do you have more? Wow, that's a lot of money. Sister Yao, are you really short of money? If that's the case, my best friend Ailee said if you lick her shoes clean, she's willing to give you 100,000 yuan. Really? Of course it's true. If you could lick my shoes clean to my satisfaction, I will give you 100,000 yuan. How about it? Okay. Chin Yao, you're a disgrace. Brother Chin Tang, don't be angry. Sister Yao is just too short of money. Don't blame her. Get up. How dare you cry? You're so cheap for money. You're shameless. Just the hundred thousand yuan makes you a low life. I'll give you hundred thousand yuan to jump into the sea. Will you do it or not? You look down on me for doing this, for a few thousand yuan, because you think it's nothing to you. But to me, it's life-saving money. Shen Tin Cheng, I won't jump if you give me 100,000 yuan, because I'm still 180,000 yuan short for the surgery. If you give me 180,000 yuan, I'll jump. Well, I don't know when you became so eloquent. You want to be humiliated? Well, come on. What are you doing? Kneel here for the rest of the afternoon. I'll pay for your grandma's surgery. You mean it? Of course. Fine.
Sister Yao, are you calling for something? All oh, right. Today in the box, my friend went too far. I apologize for her. She was just trying to raise some money for you. Where is Shen Qingcheng? Brother Qingcheng is in the shower. How else I can answer the phone for him? Give him the phone. I need to talk to him. Sister Yao, you want to ask Brother Qingcheng for money? I'm really sorry. Brother Qingcheng said he was just trying to embarrass you. He never wanted to help you. But don't lose heart. There will be a way out. I don't believe it. Put him on the phone. What? Didn't you understand what Yo Yo said? Do you want me to tell you so that you'll give up? You said if I knew for a holiday, you'll give me money. You said as long as I knew, you're paying for my grandma's surgery. I've already knelt. You cannot break your promise. Jin Yo, who do you think you are? How can you ask me to keep my promise? <laughs> What's wrong with you? Can't you be a little more clever? What did I teach you? Let's go. Are you the one who just called? It's me. Can you pay me daily? Daily? Yes, no problem. Can you sing? A little. Let's go then. Let's go to the venue with me. You don't have to do anything today. You just have to sing and accompany the person inside for me tonight. I can give you a bonus of 10,000 yuan. Okay. Mr. Liu, I want another girl for you. Look how fresh she is. Her looks and figure are top notch. <laughs> Juan, you've done a good job today. I'll buy you any house you want. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Liu. Have a good time. I won't bother you anymore. <laughs> All right. Go. <laughs> Sit down, beauty. I remember your last name is Chen, right? Yes. Hmm. Come on, have a drink. Huh? All right, all right. I remember Mr. Chen told me that they, you're a decent woman. Why would you come to a place like this? My grandma is sick. We're short of money. 180,000 when? Beauty is forced by life. I feel deeply sorry. Just 180,000 yuan puts you in such a difficult position. It seems that Mr. Shen is not generous enough to beauty. Mr. Shen, long time no see. How's it going? Thanks to you. Not too bad. Why are you calling so suddenly? <laughs> Recently I've got a new girl. Then I suddenly thought of you. I remember. You and Miss Jin are old friends, so I'm calling to tell you. Miss Jin, say hello to Mr. Shen. Shen Jin Jin, it's me. Mr. Shen, do you hear it? It's Miss Jin who poured us wine last time. Just have fun, it's nothing. I'll hang up first. It's just 180,000 you want. For me, it's a one sentence thing. I'll pay for it. What do you want? <laughs> what I want? I want you. Well, I belong to you tonight. Well done. <laughs> Come on, have a drink. <laughs> Good job. You are so excited. <laughs> Come for once in a while. Both edify sentiment and benefit the body and mind. Mr. Lu, ah, uh, excuse me, if it's convenient. Uh, well, well, got it, buddies. Let's switch venues. Are you crazy for lacking of money? You can't even seduce a sad old man. I'm just crazy short of money. Don't say it's an old man. Even if he is a psychopath or a pig, I'll do it. As long as he gives me the money. Are you satisfied? 
I'll do it if he gives me the money. Are you satisfied? I never expected that. Chinyo, who was once decent and proud, now become a gold digger for money. Chinyo, where's your strength of character? <sighs> Didn't you know that when I abandoned you for a wealthy businessman, I'm a girl for money, by hook or by crook? How can I forget that? You've always been a gold digger. Anyway, whoever your company with is sleeping, why don't you sleep with me? All this money enough? <laughs> How do this enough? Give me 180,000 yuan for a night. 180,000 yuan? Do you deserve it? In my mind, 200 yuan is too much. Well, I won't sleep with you. <laughs> 200 yuan is for me to give you some slack. Do you really think you deserve the money? I don't know from what a woman like you to stick to me. Hello? Hello, Yao Yao. The cost of surgery has already been paid. I really appreciate your friend offering to help. And? Which friend of mine? The one surnamed Shant. He hasn't left yet. Would you like to come over now? Oh, I'll give him the phone. He could say something. Hello, it's Chin. I'm Shen Chiu Yong. Shen Jin Cheng's half-brother. Is it convenient to meet? Okay. Thank you for your help, Mr. Shen. I'll definitely pay you back. It has nothing to do with money. However, Miss Jin, the favor I did for you was an out of kindness. Just be straight with me, Mr. Shen. What do you want me to do? I'll do what I can. <laughs> Miss Jin, you're quite straightforward. Here's my requirements. What I want from you is simple. I want you to stay by Shen Jin Cheng's side, gain his trust and help me take back the Shen family. It's time he repays the three years he stole from me. You're overestimating me. I mean nothing to Shen Tingting. He could easily get rid of me. Why would he trust me? His intentions toward you? I, as his elder brother, see it very clearly. Sure, he dislikes you. But he can't live without you. As long as you play your cards right, Gaining his trust won't be difficult. I'll do my best. Well, that's not enough. You must succeed. I'm giving you one month. Use the contract you previously signed with him to get inside the company. If you fail, it's over for you. Understand? Got it. Good. After the job is done, I only want the Shen family. Whether you want Shen Chin or to leave, I can help you as long as you cooperate. It's a win-win for both of us. So, it's a deal? Deal. Huh. Mr. She handles business yourself. My company isn't like yours. I have to come to make sure you don't change your mind. Have you even thoroughly looked into the incident from back then? Consider this document's my gift to you. What's it matter to you? Her Meng Jun is my cousin. I want to find the killer as much as you do. But I don't want you to falsely accuse someone, causing an innocent girl to suffer. What's this? You're a capable man. You can find out yourself. Dig this up. I need every details of it. But, Mr. Shen, it's been a long time since the incident happened. It might be hard to dig up information. This year's year end bonus will be doubled for you. I, I got it. I'll investigate right away.
Doctor. The surgery was very successful. The patient is still very weak and needs to stay in the ICU for observation for a few days. If everything goes well, within three days, she can be transferred to a general ward. Thank, thank you, you doctor. doctor. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. That is so great. Chinyo. Yo, yo. Did your grandmother's surgery go well? No need to bother, Mr. Shen. About Meng Jun. Shen Jinteng, my grandmother just came out of the operating room. Can you leave me alone? No, that's not what I meant. I came here today to... How much does the surgery cost? I can pay. Have you forgotten how I begged you a few days ago? What else you got? I don't want and don't dare to try. You should leave. Yao Yao, did you and Jin Chen have a fight? You've been together for so many years. A little argument is normal. You're not a kid anymore. It's time to settle down. Jin Chen is a good guy. Mom? We didn't fight. He just came to see how grandma's surgery goes. As for marriage, let's talk about later. Miss Chen. What do you want? Miss Chen. Have you forgotten what you promised me? Of course, I remember. But, Mr. Shen, it seems like you don't really trust me. It's only been a few days since we last met. Miss Chen, do you think you can fool me? You shouldn't mess with people like me. It seems you don't understand your current situation. I invited your little brother here today for a chat. What have you done to Hao Hao? Miss Chen, don't worry. I just invited him for tea, that's all. However... If Miss Chin doesn't act quickly, you might not be so lucky next time. Where is Hao Hao? I want to talk to him. Chin Hao, your sister wants to talk to you. Hello, sister. Hao Hao. How are you doing? I I'm fine. Mom's relatives came over today. This uncle took me out for dinner. He is a nice person. After dinner, I'll go back to school. Don't worry about me. Okay. Hao Hao, let me talk to the uncle. Now you see what I mean. Take Jin Hao back. I'll do what I promised you. Give me three more days, I will get inside the Shen group. But if you lay a finger on my family again, you won't get anything. If Miss Chen had been cooperative earlier, we wouldn't have had so many troubles. I've always said I'm a man of my word. As long as you do what I ask, I won't give you a hard time. Mr. Shen, regarding the contract you signed with our company, I handle after sales. If there is an issue, just ask me. I have a question now. What? The car accident from years ago. What really happened? Shen Jinjing, what are you trying to do? I just want to know the truth. Even if you won't say now, I'll find out in a few days. Then, go ahead and investigate. You've never believed what I say anyway. What's the point of me telling you the truth? Jin Yo. If there is nothing else, I think I should go. Miss Chin. What's the matter? Miss He came yesterday afternoon and asked me to give this to you. Good. After the job is done, I only want the Shen family. Whether you want Shen Chin Chen or to leave, I can help you as long as you cooperate. It's a win-win for both of us. So it's a deal? Deal.
Jin Yao. I didn't expect that you hook up with Shen Jiu Yang. Father Jin Cheng will skin your life. If he finds out, won't he? If you want to let him know, he will not give me the voice recorder. Let's meet. Some things are better to be said face to face. Okay. Jin Yao, I didn't expect that we can sit down in such a calm mood today. It seems you are really guilty. I've never done things that are harmful to him, so I'm not guilty at all. Just tell me straight, how do you want to handle this matter? You change your identity and leave brother Chin Cheng that I will destroy those things. We are going to marry. It's unnecessary for you to stay here. You don't want to be a mistress, do you? I will leave him and won't see him anymore for my whole life. Hmm. Don't let me let me down this time. By the way, how are you gonna help him? Help who? Shen Jin Cheng. <laughs> Shen Jiu Yang plays dirty tricks secretly. If he succeeds and brother Chin Cheng gets hurt, maybe he needs to ask me for help. Why should I help him? I wish you a happy marriage forever in advance. Keep your eyes on her. She may live recently. Take her life when she leaves the city. Understand? Sister Yao, what's wrong? A number of technical problems come up. I cannot handle it without you. They scolded me for being useless, but actually, it's their own fault. They used the software without the specification. Haven't you explained the reason to them clearly? Of course, but they wouldn't listen. They even informed Brother Ping. Brother Ping fired me at once. Wait a minute. Let's go to the Shen group now to get things straight before we fix these problems. Okay, let's go. Didn't you post that your software is safe? This morning our firewall was under attack. Once there's any information leak which causes any loss, even if you sold your company, you can't afford it. Sir, being safe is the feature of our software, which means the firewall won't be alarmed. Your company is blessed with abundant resources and property. Other competitors have designed on your company. It's pretty normal. I told Mr. Shen what have happened. Your company, we won't cooperate again from now on. Hmm. Hmm. Sure. Mr. Shen wants you to come to his office. Let's go. Mr. Shen, Miss Chen and Miss Chung are here. You are here today because there's a problem with the software. Our company has decided not to renew the contract after the expiration. Mr. Shen, can't we talk it over? We can apologize and solve the problem. Just give us another chance. It's not trivial. If there is really a problem, the company cannot afford to lose it. So, I'm sorry. Mr. Shen, if there is a problem with the software, we'll deal with it. But. The firewall has been attacked. It shouldn't be our fault. So? It's okay not to renew. It's your wish. But the firewall was attacked. Cannot be used as a reason not to renew. I hope Mr. Shen can always understand. Otherwise, it's gonna be hard for us guys. Well, since Miss Chen said that, I'll give you another chance. Soon when? You take them away. Hmm. I have something to say with Mr. Shen. Hmm. Shen Jingcheng, you. Why? Don't you dare to say it. As far as I know, you took everything you have from your brother. One day, he'll come and take it back. Chen Yo. Get out of my sight now, before I change my mind. Shen Jinchen, that's all I can remind you of.
Mr. Shen, Mr. Shen, there's something wrong. Our cooperation with Hydrology Group has not been negotiated. Someone must have leaked the confidential documents out. They offered a slightly higher price than we did and improved on our proposal. Have you checked it out? We are checking. Initial suspicion is that it has something to do with the software of Miss Chen's company. Wait until you check out. Yes. What's going on with the cooperation of the Hydrology Group? How could such important confidential documents of the company be leaked? Haven't checked it out. What do I need you if you can't handle such trifles? If Grandpa has any dissatisfaction with me, you can take everything back from me. Jin Cheng, how can you talk to Grandpa? Grandpa is just worried. Don't you really want to make him angry? You asshole! I'll wait and see how you solve it. Master Shen, Brother Jin Cheng, Maybe I can help you. On this matter, the owner of the hydrology group and my dad are friends. Moreover, the price given by the other company was similar to Shen Group. I suppose the hydrology group should be able to show us some respect. I suppose the hydrology group should be able to show us some respect. If your father helps, I'm afraid it's not easy to tell the other company. I don't know how to explain it either. I'm afraid it may be a bit troublesome for our family. But as long as I can help brother Jin Cheng, everything else is not important. Jin Cheng, or simply marry Yao Yao. Then she is a member of our family, so that his family can be included under the wings of Shen Group. There won't be so many worries in future exchanges. Mom, if it doesn't work out. I'll think about it. Not not nagging you. Yao Yao has been waiting for you so many years. Well, you cannot keep the girl waiting for you forever. How should you most consider now? How to recover the company's losses? The matter is settled like this. If you have any ideas, we'll talk later. Mr. Shen, I got it all. All the clues all point to Miss Chen. But enough. Cancel the cooperation with their company immediately. Had to be responsible for compensation. Yes. <laughs> ah, Chen Yao. I really look down upon you. Chen Yao, you really put a lot of effort into. Starting to lay out so early. What? Still pretending. The software of your company leaked my confidential files. So I have terminated the contract with them. I see who will dare to work with your company in the future. How could it leak out? We don't have this problem with our software. There must be a misunderstanding here. Why should I trust you? I only softened my heart for once and agreed to continue cooperate with you. But you turned around and betrayed me. Chen Yao, you let me down over and over again. Shen Jing Cheng, I've never betrayed you. Not once. If I have done something that's sorry to you, I'll die in my boots. You'd better leave the tricks on Shei Chen. I'll settle with you again. After I finish handling the company's affairs, you have to be on call during this time. Understand? What do you take me for? For what? Chinyo, you are now a dog beside me. Don't say I'm embarrassing you. The project I lost money on will never be completed in your lifetime. Well, just like I owe you. Well done. That's good you know about it. Shen Jing Cheng, this is really what I owe you. I know there must be someone behind this. Alas. But Jin Yao, you know, small companies like ours don't have the qualifications to compete with them at all. Sorry, Brother Ping. I'll resign on my own initiative too, not cause trouble to the company. You have suffered a lot for the Shen group. I know that I'm the one who has wronged you. 
Brother Bing, I really appreciate your care during this time. That's enough. I got it. Miss Jin, long time no see. It's you. What do you want? Nothing. You can't do anything well, so I'll have to come myself. Miss Jin, you don't blame me, do you? I wouldn't dare to. I cannot afford it. <laughs> as long as you know, well, you just wait for Shen Chincheng to come and find you. Okay. Hello. Hello. Come here. If you want to save your honey. Who? Jin Yao. <laughs> You're here. You're the one who kidnapped her. Don't be in a hurry to ask for explanation. Let's make a deal. After that, I'll immediately release her. What deal? Give me shares of the Shen Group. Or, call off your engagement with Heming Yeo. I couldn't shake your position in the Shen Group. But it's easy to kill this women. If you contradict yourself, Mr. Shen, you have to prepare yourself. I thought there was a big problem. To be honest, this women means nothing to me. Fine. Well, in that case, there's no use keeping her, huh? Wait! <laughs> Five percent. That's the most I can give. You know, Grandpa still owns some of the shares. Okay. Set her free. Yo, yo! Yo, yo! Shen Jin Chang, Shen Jin Chang. I'll see how long you can be so arrogant. Jin Chang, are you sure about giving 5% shares to Chiu Yang? I'm sure. Why do you do that? Mom, anyway, he's my brother. He's a part of our family. I don't want us to get into a fight. So... I'm expressing my sincerity. Well spoken. Jin Chang, don't worry. I won't do that. Okay. Son, you're a grown-up. I shouldn't interfere with your decision. But the shares are different. Now that you've given him shares, your brother will have a say in our Shen group. Even if he says it in a nice way. In the future, he will. Mom, I know that. There is no harmonious brotherhood in Shen family. You should marry Yao Yao as soon as possible. With the help of the family, your position in their Shen group will be more stable. Don't give him a chance to rob you off your position. Master, that woman is getting close with Chin Cheng again. Do you think... That woman... Is she Chin Yao from three years ago? Yes. If it's true, we can't let her live. She's a slut. Find a chance to finish her off. Have you had enough rest? It's been just one day. Shen Tin Cheng. I'm not Superman. If you didn't rest well, you can rest somewhere else. 
Someone, come take her to another villa of mine quickly. Shen Jingjing, what do you want to do? This is abduction. Then sue me. See who will be convicted, you or me. You jerk. Drag her away. <laughs> Let me go. <laughs> Do you have any results? The information leak. Was it done by Shen Chiu Yang? You were right, Mr. Shen. We changed the method to investigate. We got results immediately. I'm worried about Miss Chin. I know what I'm doing. Don't worry about her. It's too dangerous these days. I will explain to her later on. Miss her score accident. It wasn't caused by Miss Chin. Too few clues were left. We still can't tell who did that. All at once. Keep investigating. If you find any clues, tell me as soon as possible. Yes. For now, I can only let you hate me. Things will get better soon. Miss Jin, here are your lunch. Because of your injury, I only made something light. Miss Jin, you should eat more so that you'll get better soon. No, thanks. I have no appetite. Miss, there is soup in the pot. I have to go and check. Where are you going in such a hurry? Come here. What's wrong with you? Until I ask you to leave, it better stay here. But I have my family. My brother is still at school. He cannot keep me here forever. Shen Tin Tang, I'm begging you to let me go. Your family. I'll take care of them. Don't ever think of living here. As long as you stay, sooner or later, I'll let you go. Leave my family alone. If you want to do anything, come at me. Want me to leave your family alone? <laughs> okay, just stay obedient to me. Got it? Okay, I got it. Sit down and eat. I'm getting engaged to Herman Yo. Is it what you want? I wish you a harmonious and long lasting union. Let me in. I'm looking for someone. Who are you looking for? I want to meet Chin Yao. Can't you just let me in? Sir, you can't go in. Chin Yao! I'll call the cop if you don't leave. Chin Yao, are you there? Are you okay? Xie Jin, I'm okay. A few days ago, I gave Shen Jin Cheng some clues of that accident. I thought that you should feel better in this few days, but I lost contact with you all of a sudden. I'm afraid you may be in danger. Did you tell him? Does he believe you? Theoretically, he should know you didn't do it. I don't know why he's still doing this to you. If he won't change his mind, let me take you away. No, I cannot leave. You should leave. Don't let him catch you. Otherwise, he won't be nice to you. I cannot get you into trouble anymore. He's getting engaged to Heming Yeo today. He won't come back for a while. I'm taking you away now. Don't worry. I cannot leave. My family is under his control. I cannot escape from him. I cannot win against Heming Yao either. Don't worry. I have checked before coming here. Shen Jin Cheng didn't do anything bad to your family. He isn't that much of a bastard. Okay.
ถ้ามังเหี่ยวเมสชิน I'm calling to tell you that Sun Jin Chan sent your brother to h a m i n g y o u He's at the engagement dinner now. I heard Sun Jin Chan wanted to please h a m i n g y o u so he sent your brother as a gift. What will h a m i n g y o u do? I don't know. But h a m i n g y o u disabled the money boy before. If you want to protect him, I suggest you go there now. Where is Hao Hao? I want to see him. Chin Yao, are you crazy? You can't go crazy here. Get down now. Why? I just want to live a normal life. But why is this symbol wish so difficult? Ha Mang Yao, give me back my brother. Chin Yao, have some sense of shame. Don't make me say it again. Now go down immediately. I'll deal with you when I go back home. Shen t i n t i n g He gave Hao Hao to this vicious woman. Why not kill me instead? If Hao Hao is in any danger, even at the cost of death, I will take revenge on you. What nonsense are you talking about? How does Jin Hao has relation with us? Sister Yao, today is a big day for me. Just stop making trouble. Don't embarrass me. <sighs> Don't embarrass me. <sighs> Sister Yao, why are you hitting me? What did I do wrong? Why? I have already promised you that I will leave. Why can't you let me go? Why did you tell Mrs. Shen my whereabouts and abort my child? Why wouldn't you let my brother go? Ha Mang Yao, you're a devil. Sister Yao, what are you talking about? Brother Jin Jin, Sister Yao, she spoke ill of me recklessly and also disrupted my engagement ceremony. Where am I not doing well enough? Why is she targeting me like this? I didn't do anything. She accused me of. You go to the bag and tidy up first. Chenyo, you should go down immediately. Shen Jin Jin, I beg you, let go, Hao oh, Hao, please. I promise you everything. I just want you to let go, Hao oh, Hao, please. You go down and wait for me backstage first. After the ceremony is over, I will go and find you. Shen Jin Jin, Hao Hao is still a student. He still has to go to college. He's a person, not an object. You cannot bring him to her to please her at will. You're doing this because you hate me, right? But I really haven't done those things before. How many times do you want me to explain? Okay, just pretend that I did it. It doesn't matter how you hurt me or retaliate against me. But how how doesn't know anything. He's innocent. Someone jumped off the building. It's a high school student. Go and have a look. How 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 how. Shed so much blood. It must be very painful, right? They have already called an ambulance. Hold on a little longer. I'm so sorry. I am the one who got you involved. When you recover, I'll take you and mom away. You won't have any further involvement with them, okay? It's hopeless. He's already dead. You're the one who died. My brother is fine. If you keep talking nonsense. How dare you, Mao? Depart! How? Oh, they said you died, but you are fine. I will protect you. I will protect you. I'm sorry. The patient is not breathing and has no heartbeat. His pupils are dilated. It doesn't have any vital sign. No, take a look again, doctor. Take a look again. He can be saved as long as he can go to the hospital. Please accept my condolences. Jinyo, get up first. Shen j i n j i Save him! Save him! The doctor has already checked. Jin Hao. 
is dead. What are you talking about? What are you talking about? Chin Yao, Chin Yao. Chin Yao, let go, Chin Chen. Why do you have to blame us for your brother's death? They clearly haven't done anything. It's all because of you. It's all because of you. You killed my brother. I'll make you pay for it with blood. Chin Yao, stop messing around. I'm messing around? My brother is dead. You're all murderers. Is it wrong for me to avenge my brother? Don't be impulsive. Yao Yao is innocent. Sister Yao, are you confused right now? What's wrong with you? Just now, the accompanying doctor from the ambulance reported the case. He suspected that the deceased underwent inhuman torture. We need to bring the body back for investigation. I hope you can cooperate. T torture? How come? Chin Yao. Of course, it's currently just a suspicion. This still requires further investigation. It's them. They, they killed my brother. Catch them, sir. Sir, this matter has nothing to do with us. We are willing to cooperate with the investigation. We will investigate carefully. Everything is based on facts. It must be them. They killed my brother. Trust me, you must bring them back for questioning. I didn't lie to you. I understand your feelings, but we have a protocol. Please cooperate with us. Now, please follow me back to the police station for investigation. Let's go. Ms. Jun, you identify Hao Ming Yao and Sun Jin Cheng as the murderers. Do you have any evidence? This person told me he must have the evidence. We have already asked this man about Jin Hao being taken to the engagement party. As a gift, Shen Chinchang gave to Hao Ming Yao, but he only heard it from a hotel employee, and this employee claimed it was just a post among his friends. It's just his posting with his friends, so there is no evidence to suggest that Mr. Shen is killed. How could a hotel employee know my brother? He must be lying. We are strangers. How could he use this to boast? Miss Chin, we understand you very well. Please also trust our case handling capabilities. All the signs are pointing towards your brother. He might be delirious due to excessive drug use. Then he stumbled and jumped off a building. I'm afraid this matter can only end here. It's impossible. Ho Ho is a very excellent child. He would never do this. Sir, please, investigate again. Miss Chin, please, understand us. I'm sorry. Among Yao did it. I can swear it must be her. Sir, please, investigate again. He can definitely trace any clues. She killed her own sister three years ago. No, she killed her brother again. She must be the murderer. Miss Chin, everything should be based on evidence. Now, there is no evidence to prove that Ho Ming Yao is a murderer, so we have to let them go. Miss Chin, please accept my condolences and go back. Oh, oh. Forgive me. I can only think of this way to revenge for you. Okay, at that time. <gasps> oh, oh. Chin Yao! Chin Yao, you killed my sister. You also want to kill me? Put the knife down! Brother Chin Cheng, am I dying? No, I'll take you to the hospital now. Call me! I'll kill you! Put down the knife! What are you doing? Just you. Want to kill someone? Before I come back, keep an eye on her. Okay, Mr. Shen, I'll call the police right now. Don't call the police. Let go of me! Jin Hyo, do you know that you injured Yao Yao's spine? She may never be able to stand up again. She deserves it. You are such a malicious woman. You pretended to be so naive in front of me before. You've really worked hard. You're just incurable. Shen Jin are you kidding me? 
How how is that? And you still want me to sympathize with her? I only regret that I didn't hit her hard enough and didn't stab her to death. Jin Yao, I know Jin Hao is dead, and you are very sad. What you lost was just your younger brother. But what about Yao Yao? What she lost was one leg, which is so important to her. She's such an excellent girl. How can she make her living in the future? In your point of view, isn't my brother's life considered a life? Shen Jinjin, have you ever considered our lives? Jin Yao, you don't know your place, do you? Kill me and avenge for your Yao Yao. Either you call the police to arrest me, or I will make you pay for it with blood. Stay here. You're not allowed to go anywhere. Miss Jin, the third room on the left upstairs has been cleaned up. You can go upstairs and have a rest. It's none of your business. Mr. Shen asked me to make sweet soup for you. If you don't like it, I can cut you some fruit to eat. I said I don't need it. Can't you tell? Okay, just call me when you need me. Go ahead with your own business. Why don't you eat? <laughs> Chinyo, there must be a limit to your madness. How House Buddy is still at the police station. I need to go get him out. Let him be buried. I will accompany you tomorrow. Okay. Even if you froze his body, he won't come back to life. Why don't you cremate and bury him? I want to go to the hospital if we sit here among you. No. Then let's go home. I made you something to eat. Today is your birthday. Happy birthday. Chin Chan, happy birthday. You little fool. Why don't you eat it? Hmm. What? You're afraid I'll poison you? Is it delicious? Yes.
you want to kill me. You cooked the meal and seduced me. Unfortunately, you may be disappointed. Did I make you misunderstand something? Do you think you can still do whatever you want in front of me? It's not me doing what I want. It's you doing what you want. It's a shame I didn't kill you. <laughs> if you want to kill me, you also need to see if you have that ability. Shen Tingting, you might as well kill me. Or if you don't, I'll find a way to kill you all and take revenge for my younger brother. Jin Yao, how can you be arrogant in front of me? Jin Hao is your younger brother. He's not mine. In addition, why do you think everyone should accompany him to death for nothing? You guys shouldn't die for nothing. But does my brother should? I think you're just stubborn and incurable. Miss Jin, this is the soup that Mr. Shan asked me to prepare for you. Drink it while it's hot. Remember to drink it while it's hot. Contraceptive soup. Shen Jin Teng. Yo. Miss Jin, there is a guest who wants to see you. Mom, why are you here? I heard that Hao Hao is dead. Is that real? Mom. Mom. Hao Hao has died. It was Shen Jin Jin who killed him, right? Say it! Did Shen Jin Jin kill Hao Hao? Mom, sit down. <laughs> oh, God, this happened. Oh, oh, my son. Mom, I failed to protect Ho Ho. Ho Ho is dead. If I hadn't come looking for you, how long would you have kept it from me? Mom, please don't blame yourself. Ho Ho is dead. When you are still living in this man's house, he is your brother, Yao Yao. Don't you feel any shame? Not really. Then why are you living in this villa? Why didn't you tell me that Hao Hao already dead? No, I live here just to avenge Hao Hao's death. Hao Hao has passed away. How could I not be breathing? Did you get your revenge? You are living here comfortably. Someone is serving you, Yao Yao. You have no conscience. Come on, let's go back together. We need to call the police. Your brother's death cannot be in vain. Mom, I cannot leave. <laughs> You are so evil. How could I have a daughter like you? <laughs> In that case, it is pretty bad that I never give birth to you. From now on, let's not meet again. You want to use the same trick on me for a second time? There is no chance. Why don't you think of something else? Such as poisoning or run me over with a car. Run you over? Like how I killed Hermann Chun? It's not impossible. Do you really want to die? A person like you, who has done so much evil. Yeah. How could someone like me die so easily? It's good for you to know that. Hello, Mom. Have you thought clearly about Yao Yao? Tonight, your grandfather was furious at the dinner table. He insists Jin Yao to give an explanation. He doesn't know yet that Jin Yao is with you, 
and is looking for her everywhere. I know. One more thing, Yao Yao's body is already like this. I think, let her move to your place. After all, you two are engaged. Something like this happened, you'd better come up with an idea. From tomorrow, I'll bring him and you home. You take care of her diet and daily life. Take it as a penance for your recklessness. You asked me to serve Hamang Yao? Why don't you just kill me? Kill you and get it over with? There's no such easy thing in this world. Shen Jintian, if you're not afraid I'll poison her, then let me serve. I promise to serve her comfortably. How dare you! Think about your mom. You bastard! Whatever you say, I only care about money. If anything goes wrong with Yao Yao, I will come after you. Do you understand? Yes. I do. I heard you are the nanny brother Chen Chen assigned to me. Make me something to eat. Hurry up! What's this? It tastes so bad. So lucky your brother's dead. Otherwise, he would have suffered with you. How dare you mention my brother again? Believe it or not, I will kill you. You must be sad about your brother's death. What a pity. What a good kid. Too bad he's your brother, Chin Yao. If not, maybe he doesn't have to die. <laughs> huh? What are you gonna do? Hamang Yao, I'll kill you! <laughs> Brother Jin Jin, here you are! Look at what she did to me! She don't come back early! She will kill me! Are you okay? Should we go to the hospital? Forget it! You work so hard! I don't want to bother you anymore! Put down! <laughs> Brother Chin Chin I thought you ran away last night. Your life won't be easy when I come back today. <laughs> I'm talking to you. Chin Yao, don't embarrass yourself. Why are you looking at me like that? If you hate me so much, just tell Shen Tin Tang to let me go. Anyway, I've already set a wedding day with Chin Tang. It's at the end of the year. He... Brother Chin Tang, come and have breakfast. Sir, someone's coming from the mansion. They said to take Miss Jin there. Let's go. Brother Jin Cheng, why are you taking her back? Grandpa is looking for her. I haven't seen Grandpa and Anne for a long time. Why don't you take me back with you? Okay. Sir, Master Shen would like to talk to Miss Jin alone. Miss Jin, please come inside. Sir, Master Shen would like to talk to Miss Jin alone. Miss Jin, please come inside. Master Shen, Miss Jin is here.
Miss Chin, we meet again. Fate is a wonderful thing. I thought that three years ago was the last time we would see each other. I never thought we'd meet again. What can I do for you? You just want to get married. I'm not going to hold you responsible for stealing trade secrets. Stealing trade secrets? In order to get what you want, you'll do anything. You don't want to cooperate. I'm afraid you won't be able to handle my tactics. I'm just an ordinary person. I have no power and no support. How dare I not cooperate? So you agreed? I did not. What do you mean? I'm not in charge of my own affairs. Be more specific. You should be able to find out. I'm being held captive by Shen Chin Cheng. He threatened me with my mother. It's not that I cling to him. If you can convince him to let me go, I will do what you want. I won't get in your way. You said the same thing three years ago. I loved him back then. That's why I tried to stay with him. Now, I want to stay away from him. This time, I'm telling the truth. Hmm. Today. Let's pretend we've never met. The butler will see you off. Hmm. Bastard. He's done well for himself. After three years, he found the ex-girlfriend. He even protects her. I'd like to see how far he plans on taking this. Master Shen, don't be angry. You know his temper. We have investigated him many times. He's already starting to resist. I think what we do with Miss Jin, we should take our time. If he doesn't break up with that woman, how can I explain to the Hair family? The Hair family is not easy to persuade when the time comes. They'll take advantage of the situation. The Shen group will be in trouble. With Jin Chen at the company, I don't think anything will go wrong. Please take care of yourself, Master Shen. What happened before? You haven't forgotten, have you? After something like that happened, I thought you wouldn't dare to come to Shen Mansion again. I don't dare to forget. It's good that you don't dare to forget. I hope you'll always remember the pain. Chen Chen is my son. I will always put him first. If it wasn't for his permission, I wouldn't have hurt you over and over again. Do you understand what I'm saying? What do you mean? It doesn't matter. Three years ago, or this time, I helped my son do what he wanted to do but he couldn't do. I'm not giving you a hard time for nothing. It's just that mother doesn't want to see her son in the middle of a dilemma. Impossible. It's his child. He wouldn't do this to me. You could ask him. It's already happened. I don't think he'll hide it from you anymore. Mom, where's Chin Yao? She just left. I don't know what happened. I tried to talk to her, but she ignored me. I saw she had a check in her hand. Chen Cheng, where are you going? We'll have lunch soon. What about Yao Yao if you leave? Your grandpa will be angry. Auntie, it's brother Chen Cheng. Yao Yao, don't think too much. Chen Cheng just went out to buy something. He'll be back soon. Auntie, I'm handicapped now. Brother Chen Cheng doesn't love me. I can't understand it. I am not good enough for him. Yao Yao. How about I go back and tell my father to cancel this marriage? <laughs> Yao Yao, you've got it all wrong. Chen Cheng had something to do. That's why he left first. He doesn't dislike you. Don't worry, he loves you. I'll ask him to explain to you later. 
Auntie, you have to talk to Brother Tintin. Don't worry. These days, you just leave it Tintin. I want to see what dirty tricks can the Peachy Tin play. What are you doing? Tin Yao, if you want to die, do it right. You're so pretentious. Brother Tin Tin won't feel sorry for you. Why bother? During the three days you were in a coma, Brother Tin Tin and I have set a date for our wedding. He will marry me in three months. You've wasted your time. I wish you two together. Ever. <laughs> If you had known this, you shouldn't have fought with me in the first place. If you hadn't, maybe your fate wouldn't have been so bad. God is watching what you do. I believe that one day, God will give me justice. <laughs> You're still talking. God wants to give you justice. But can you see this happen? I just want to see you again. Because you're so miserable. From now on, we'll go back to our own life. We'll never see each other again. Jinyo, right? Your cough is broken. It needs an operation. I'll take you there. Isn't the surgery at the hospital? We don't have the equipment at the hospital. We can't do delicate surgeries. I'll take you to the next city for surgery. I'm not doing the surgery. Take me home. <laughs> what are you doing? <sighs> Brother Jin Jing, what do you think? It's nice. Sunwen, go to the hospital. How is Chinyo? Brother Jin Cheng, how about this one? Yo yo, you try it first. I have something to do at work. I should handle it. Sunwen. Mr. Shen, Miss Chen is not in the hospital. The nurses at the hospital said since last night they haven't seen Miss Chen. Go check the hospital. All the surveillance cameras and send Chu Yang. Keep an eye on him. Yes. Brother Jin Cheng, where are you going? Yo Yo, you tried first. I have something to handle. I'll have the driver take you home later. Mr. Shen. All the surveillance records at the hospital last night have all disappeared. What about San Chiu Yang? Mr. Shen went to Sioux City on business last night. The tickets were bought in advance. I have checked this morning. He did attend a meeting in Sioux City, and there are no clues pointing to him. I'm aware of that. You guys... Miss Chin, sorry for the offense. What do you want? We're just short of money. We need to trade you for some money. That's all. What do you want? We've been asked to do this. If you die, I don't want to be held responsible for your death. Who hired you? You don't have to ask the question, Miss Chin. You've already left the message. For Mr. Shen of the Shen Group, if he wants to rescue you, he'll need a ransom of 1 billion yuan. If he pays in time, we'll let you go. If he refuses to pay, we're very sorry for you. You think too highly of me. Mr. Shen, it is not the time to be alone now. Why don't we wait for the rescue team? No, we have to save her first. Mr. Shen, you must have rest. You guys go rest for 10 minutes. I'll keep looking. Jinyo! Mrs. Shen is here. Let her go. 
stop there. If you go any further, I'll kill her. I'll give you money. Let her go. So generous. In that case, just transfer the money. I'll release the women you love. After the transfer, I'll transfer 100 million yuan to you first. And tie her first. Mr. Shen, we've come to this point. No bargain. Don't forget, the initiative now is in our hands. I'll transfer 100 million yuan to you first. If you're sensible, take the money and leave. If you're greedy, this woman, I don't want her either. Mr. Shen, if you want to save her, just give us the money. If not, I'll kill her. Between you and me, there's no room for bargaining. Wait! Give them the money. Hurry! The money has been transferred to you. Let her go. The money has been transferred to you. Let her go. Alas, Mr. Shen really loves Miss Chin. Cut the crap. Let her go. Release her. Yo, yo. Shen Jin Jin. I didn't expect you'd save me. One billion yuan to torture me. That's a big price to pay. Let us talk about it later. Come over here now. This may be the last time I say these words to you. I've loved you until now. I really feel sorry for myself. I've wasted so many years. My relationship, career, and family all revolved around you and all ruined because of you. If there is an afterlife, I hope I will never meet you again. Yo, yo, stop talking and come here first. You've never listened to my explanations. This is last time I explained to you. I didn't kill Hamang Chun. It was Hamang Yao's plot. I didn't abort the baby. Your mother forced me to abort it. I know. Stop talking now. Come over here first, okay? I'm not coming. This is the end. I'm useless. Hamang Yao killed Hao Hao. I cannot avenge his death. I'm useless as his sister. I don't want to love you anymore. I hope in the afterlife be a pig. Be a dog. I'll never see you again. Shen Jin Chang, I've told you, don't ruin her in your hands. You have no right to talk about us. What do you know? Shen Jin Chang, what do you think? Who pushed her to this point today? If I help her, you'll make her twice as hard. I am a man of sense. I am afraid you're trying to hurt her. I've controlled the distance between she and I. But what did you do? I haven't been with her for days. You've driven her to this point today. Shut up. What do you know? Shijin. If it wasn't for you, she wouldn't have had a car accident, not to mention kidnapping. What's the reason? You know it well in your own heart, Shen Jin Cheng. I'm telling you, if Jin Yao had any misfortune, I am done, done with you. The patient is just out of danger. She can't be frightened again. The patient had two miscarriages before and got hurt a while ago. She's very weak now. She needs the rest. Okay, doctor. Thank you. Such a big Shen crew, Mr. Shen. Aren't you going to work? 
So is Mr. She. Haven't you been to the company for days? She group didn't spend a billion yuan for no reason. There are so many people who want Shen Group. Shen Group can't fall with them. It's just the care of the patient. I can do it alone. Won't bother Mr. She and thank you. Shen Jin Chen, with your conscience, you tell me, if you were me, would you feel safe about Jin Yao because of you, Shen Jin Chen? Mr. Shen, the total fund has been retrieved. Those two mercenaries didn't say who hired them. Keep checking. Call me when you find out. Actually, we found out the killer of the car accident. Who? Ho Ming Yo. Right. I got it. You idiot! Why don't you die outside? You got nothing after following Shen Jin Chen three years. What did you do? Now the Shen family has broke the engagement. What shall I do? Impossible. It is impossible for them to break off an engagement. It is impossible. <laughs> Dad, what are you doing? What did she do anything so wrong that you smack her so heavily? What if her face is scarred? What about the rest of her life? She has already been broken off an arrangement. What rest of life she has? If Mangchun was still alive, she got no turn. Mangchun, Mangchun, you only care about her. If you don't want me to be your daughter, then just don't. What's your eyes? I am your father. How dare you look at me like that? What do you want to do? Kill me? What are you talking about? Yao Yao is still a child. You said you were going to apologize to the Shen family. Hurry to prepare. Alas, be quick. We came here from a long distance. Could you please inform the Master Shen? Sorry, Master Shen will not mind this business. It is the Mr. Shen's order that not allowing the Hair family to come in. He also said the engagement has already been broken off. He will compensate you for some amount of money for her leg injury. No, I don't want to break off an engagement with Brother Jin Ting. Brother Jin Ting, come out. I don't want to break off an engagement with you. I do not. Mom. Jin Zheng, Yao Yao is going to commit suicide. What should we do? Why her suicide is related with me? Maybe it's because you want to break off your engagement. Jin Zheng, the Hu family helped you a lot. You shouldn't be so cruel. Mom, that's enough. The engagement is cancelled, so it's none of my business. No way. The Hu family is still helpful now. Even if you are going to break off the engagement, you have to wait after the follow-up cooperation with the Shui Wen group is settled. Mom. Three years ago, it was He Meng Yao drove the car to kill Meng Jun. I didn't want to say too much. Mom, let's end this thing. Yao Yao, you woke up. Do you feel any discomfort or pain? Why didn't I? Shen Jin Teng, I have already become like this. Could you please let me go and let my families go? Yao Yao, it is my guilt for you. I beg your forgiveness. Forgive you? What do you want to do? I have already investigated the truth. I will definitely give you fairness. I locked you in the house because... It is too late. My younger brother is dead already. Don't you still want me to forgive you? Shen Jin Jin, how can you be so contemptible? Yo Yo, about the incident of your younger brother, I will surely go to check out plainly and make it clear that who did that, all the things, I will certainly give you justice. Shen Jin Cheng, I do not dare to believe you. It's okay even if you doubt me, or hate me. 
I only wish you to live happily and healthy. Kinyo, I promise you, I will never do anything that is possible to harm you, okay? Get out. I said get out. All right. After accident, I came to see you when you were unconscious. But in the next time I came, you left. It was you who saved my life. I'm so sorry about not accompanying with you. It is fine. You helped me a lot too. It is necessary for me to help you. And these things are all past. Don't worry. I will not let such a thing happen again. Mr. She, let us go out to have a chat. Wait for me, please. I will come back soon, hmm? How much information have you got about Jin Hao? Is there any relation between the information I got and you? Now we have the same goal. What about cooperate and find out the murderer as soon as possible? I think you're just jealous again. Mr. Shen, hold back your emotion. I am telling you, even if you find out the murder, she will not forgive you. What I do now are nothing to do with begging her forgiveness. I just want to give her justice. <laughs> Fine. Listening to your words, I will cooperate with you. Mr. Shen, Yao Yao is going to commit suicide. Please help me. The suggestion is stopping. I'm begging you. Go to check it out. Mr. Shen, I am begging you. I have but one, his daughter. Just go. Let me handle things here. I will come back soon. You are dying for a man. Look at yourself now. What do you know? Dad, in my life, Brother Jin Chang is my only husband. Yao Yao, Yao Yao, look at who came here. Brother Jin Chang, you came. You still care about me, right? Why do you look at me like this? He Ming Yo, put down the knife first and we'll talk about something else. I do not. You said we will marry after having the spring festival. I do not break off our engagement. I promise you. Give me the knife. Sun Wen, call the police. Call the police. Why call the police? Calling the police is to let the law punish you, getting what you deserve. Why you drove to kill Meng Jun? You have done so many things that you should not, but the last thing you should do is taking advantage of my kill. What did you say? Yo, 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 I did not. It was Jin Yao who did that. I couldn't have run over my own sister. You're still lying. I have already handed up the clues to the police station. We will know soon whether it was you or not. You are such a good daughter, being calculating so much that even having calculated your sister, why did you drive to kill your sister? Tell me! Darling! Darling! Why? During our sister's growth, why did both of you only pull my sister in your eyes? She had everything. I wouldn't take anything from her because I had nothing. However, if I have killed her, I have killed her. I can gain everything. So I was going to kill her. I was going to kill her. I was going to kill her. Therefore, you did intentionally set up Jin Yao and let me disgust and force her, right? How many times you have done such kind of things? 
Mr. Shan, thank you for your clues. Let the chief declare out the truth. You are welcome. It is my responsibility. I'll leave the rest to you. Yes. Your recovery is good, and you will be out of the hospital soon. After that, please take care to eat a lighter diet. I know. Thank you, doctor. Yo yo, Xi Jin and I have found out some clues about Jin Hao's death. Okay, say it. But I will never forgive you. The thing goes like this: we found a cleaner at the crime scene. From his words, that day someone gave him a large sum of money. He was told not to do anything, just finish the job and leave. And then, the one who gave him money was Shen Chu Yong in cash. Shen Chu Yong. It was also him who called me and told me that Hao Hao was on your head. He wanted to seize the power and didn't want He Ming Yao to have engagement with Shen Jin Cheng. Now, what do you plan to do? I want revenge. You want a revenge? You? You can only win a senior school student. It's none of your business. Okay. Both you and Shen Jin Cheng cannot get to him. Shen Chu Yang is very wary of you. So what should we do? Police cannot investigate. After such a long time, he must have devastated all the evidences. I have an idea, but I wonder whether Mr. Shen is willing to sacrifice himself or not. Say it out. You gave him the authority, and I'll ask him out on the pretext of company cooperation. In the end, we catch him up and take him into the police station. How about this? One billion! You used it to save a woman? With it, what kind of women you couldn't find? It is lucky to take it back. What if you fail? How can you face with the shareholders? Yes. Grandpa, I didn't think it twice. Seeing you like this, how can I entrust you, Shen Krupp? During this time, how many faults you have made? Count them yourself. Grandpa, if you think I am not eligible to inherit Shen Krupp, then I'll give up all my rights in Shen's business. Is it okay? Good. Very good. Take this time to reflect on yourself. The company will be arranged by your brother. When you make yourself clear, I will consider to let you back. Okay. I'll finish the handover as soon as I can. I've already handed it over to Shen Chu Yang from the Shen Group. You can start to take action. Mr. Shen is so generous. I will ask him out five days later. You guys be ready. Making everything is sure of fire. Okay. Thank you, Xie Jin. And you too, Shen Jin Jing. I'm a grudge holder. After this matter, I will have nothing to do with you. I will not carry those past things. In the future, I wish you can disappear in my life. Fine. In the future, I will not interrupt you. Shea Group and Shen Group has been competing with each other for years. Nowadays, it's a rare opportunity that we can cooperate. <laughs> Mr. She, in the past, Shen Chen Cheng didn't see for the future, but my opinion is different. We can make cooperations so that we can make more profit, Mr. She. What do you think? I think so. It seems that we are the same group of people. Hence, wish both of us have a pleasant cooperation. Have a pleasant cooperation. He went out. Pay attention.
Fuck. Shantin, son. No wonder he gave up so early. He must be up to no good. Can't believe you're still alive. <sighs> we killed Jin Hao and kidnapped Jin Yo. You are really unscrupulous. I'll give you anything you want from Shen Kru. I don't care. Uh, so you've got it all figured out. No wonder you're chasing me like a mad dog. But what do you know? Three years ago, ever since I got you back, I've lost all my place in a family. You said you could give me anything. Who are you to say those things? Who's going to inherit it? It's always up to Grandpa. Shen Yang, you got my brother killed. Don't you have any guilt? The doctors said he was tortured before he died. He was such a good boy. How could you do this to him? There's a lot more to it than that in this world. Chen Yao, you should blame your relationship with Shen Jin Cheng. It is simply used as a bargaining chip. You are out of luck. Shen Jin Cheng, how dare you set me up? Mrs. Shen Chu Yong, you are suspected of a murder case. Please, come with us. No, I'm patient. I've just been in a car accident. You can't arrest me yet. We talk to the doctor. The condition is not serious. You have every right to arrest you. Take him away. Don't touch me! Yao Yao? Mom? Yao Yao, I'm so sorry. I don't know how much you've suffered. Why didn't you tell me? If Shijin hadn't told me, I wouldn't even know you've been kidnapped. Yao Yao, Mom, it's all over. The murderer got what he deserved. From now on, we can finally have a normal life. Yes. <laughs> it's all your fault. What have you done to my daughter? How dare you to come see her? Auntie, I know I'm wrong. I'm sorry, Yao Yao. I didn't mean it. Yao Yao was discharged from the hospital today. Just wanted to see her. Get out. Get the hell out of here. Mom, during this period, you can stay with me. We can take care of each other if anything happens. Don't say anything bad. It's good to stay here. I want to see how my daughter lives her life. Hello? My savior. Do you want to come out for dinner? I have a lot to say. Sure. It's been a long time since I've had such a relaxing meal. Thank you. It's my pleasure. After all, you are my savior. It's all I'm supposed to do. For the future, what do you plan to do? To be honest, I'm not sure. It's all happening so fast. I don't know what I can do. I don't know how to live. From now on, Shen Jin Cheng will never give you a hard time again. Whether you want to leave or stay, you are free to do as you please. I think it's a good idea to take this opportunity to try something you haven't done before. I have always wanted to take my mom and my brother away from here, to start a new life, away from Shen Tin Tang, away from all of this. But I have no money now. I have to start all over again. If that's the case, I can help you with that. Money is the easiest thing for me to ask for. Really? Sure. Which city do you want to go to? Wherever you want, I'll make the arrangements. Today? Yeah. The sooner the better. Okay. I'll go get ready.
I'll go back and pack now. Xin Jin Cheng, it's me. Mr. Xie, what do you want? Tonight at 8. That's me. I don't have time. I want to be clear with you. From Mangchun to Chin Yao, I want to make everything clear. If you're still a man, meet me. Tonight at 8, then. Okay. See you there. Yao Yao, why are you leaving so suddenly? I've been wanting to leave for a long time. This opportunity is just right. It's good to start a new life somewhere else. That's good. I listen to you. Let's leave this place and start a new life. Okay. Miss Jin. Mr. Shea invited Mr. Shen for a meeting on a cruise ship tonight. I happen to be next to Mr. Shea. I heard that he wants to get rid of Mr. Then Shen. tell Mr. Shen. What are you telling me? I told him, but he won't let me go with him. I'm afraid you're the only one who can stop it now. I see. Mom? I have something to do tomorrow. I have to deal with it. What's going on? Is something wrong? No, it's just that one of my previous clients have some new requirements. He asked me to confirm it on site. Don't worry. Then go ahead. If you need anything, call me. I'll be there. Okay. <gasps> Xie Jin, do you know what you are doing? Xin Yao! Why are you here? Didn't you leave? I didn't leave. I don't want to see you do this. Stop it. Chen Yao, if he hadn't called Meng Jun back then, Meng Jun wouldn't be dead. You wouldn't have been wrong for so many years. Now the murderer has been caught. He didn't kill anyone, but he's also an accomplice. I hope you won't stop me. Xie Jin, I don't want to see blood on your hands. And I don't want to see you take a life. Just for Shen Qin Tang, is it worth giving up your life? Wake up! Don't worry, I've already arranged everything. Everything will be seamless. Even if it's found out, they'll only find out that he was standing in a dilapidated place. He accidentally felt this death had nothing to do with it. How about that? Are you still going to stop me? Yes, I am still going to stop you. Xie Jin, murder? It's not just a matter of law and morality. I always have to carry that burden. You're my best friend. I couldn't have done it without you. That's why I cannot watch you do this. Stop it. You'll regret it. I know exactly what I'm doing. Are you still going to stop me? Xie Qin, there is a bright future ahead of you. Please don't. Shut up. He's gonna die here today. You're the only witness. If you want to help him, then go back and testify against me. If you think about my future, then keep it to yourself. It's that simple. For the sake of our friendship, can I have a word with him? Yo yo, yo yo. If I don't say it, I'm afraid I'll lose the chance. I know you don't trust me anymore. I owe you a lot of apologies. I wanted to make it up to you. I hope you can forgive me. Now that I think about it, I don't think there's any chance. I'm sorry. I didn't trust you so many times. I hurt you. I'm sorry to you for the sake of others. I hurt you over and over again. I'm sorry. The promises I made to you, I never kept them. Xiao Yao. Let go. Shen Qin Chen, stop it. I'm here today for Xie Jin. I don't want him to do this. Xie Jin, please stop. After everything I have done, it's impossible to stop. Chen Yao, don't blame me for being ruthless. 
To be honest, I wasn't trying to sacrifice myself for you. I just didn't have the right strength. That's why I fell. But I didn't think you'd jump. And I can't accept you leaving me again. If you had trusted me, I wouldn't have had to go through all that. I've been with you for three years. You don't even know what I'll do or what I won't do. These days, you've trampled my pride. You've stomped on my pride over and over again. Yo, yo. In this life, I'm the one who owes you. You don't have to forgive me. I was just a little greedy. I hoped that there would be another possibility. I sincerely hope that you are well, healthy. As long as you are happy with or without me in this happiness, I'll be satisfied either way. You don't need to tell me that. I have one more thing to tell you. I broke off the marriage with him and Yo. He was also arrested for intentional homicide. How dare you lay your hands on your precious Yao Yao. Shen Jinting, you're really cruel. But that's not true. We've never been more than brother and sister. I just feel guilty about her. It's because of that guilt. That's what made me lose my head. How can you be so sure that what you're doing to me now is not guilt? You are the only one I've ever loved. I did confess to Hemingjun, but my mom made me do it. I didn't know much about relationships before. My mom only wanted me to rely on the Hair family, so I wouldn't be left with no one to turn to. So I agreed, but Hemingjun refused. And then, I met you. Whether you believe me or not, I need to explain everything to you. I imprisoned you before, because I heard that Grandpa was going to hurt you. I wanted to wait until you were safe. I will explain it to you. I didn't realize that I'd have to put it off until now. The leakage of company secrets, I only found out later. It was sent you young. It wasn't you. Yo, yo, I know I owe you so much. I can't pay you back in this lifetime. Then let's do it in the afterlife. If I can't pay you back in the afterlife, I'll pay it next life. If you can do something in this life, why wait until the afterlife? Yo-Yo, what do you mean? It means what you think it means. Really? Really? I swear, Yo-Yo, I'll never let you shed a single tear again. Where have you been all this time? Come back now. Shen Group is in a mess. You're still out there having fun. Come back here. Grandpa, I'm not going to get married, and I'm not going to take over the company. Three years ago, how I came to Shen, that's the same way I'm living today. I won't take anything. Stop right there! Do you want to give up Shen to those side families? Chu Young is inside the jail. You are the only legitimate heir. Do you know how many people in this family dream of getting their hands on it? When Shen Chu Young was running the company, forced out nearly half of the company's executives. This is a mess. I can't clean it up. Honestly. Grandpa, I'm not interested in Shen Ku at all. Shen Jin Cheng, stop! Mr. Shen, are you really leaving Shen? Don't worry about me. I can always make a comeback. Then please take me with you and live together. You are now the special assistant of Shen Group's president. Senior management. If you leave Shen Krupp and go with me, it's hard to reach the top in the short term. 
Everything I have is from Mr. Shen. I'm willing to share your pain and suffering. Without you, I wouldn't be here today. You don't have to do this. If Mr. Shen doesn't mind my subordinates, please take me with you. You will be well treated. Mr. Shen, I heard that Jinyo Group wasn't planning to venture into real estate. Why did you take on this residential project? The reason is that my wife... She doesn't like the filling of high-rise buildings in the city. Hmm. She longs for the idyllic life depicted by Tao Yunming. And I... I can't leave the group and go into seclusion with her. So I built this pitch garden residential area for her. Your wife is really fortunate. I should say, having her as my wife... It's my happiness. The paparazzi have been following you for years, but you've kept your wife well hidden. So far, the outside world, we still don't know who your wife is. Why don't you, Mr. Shen, in the spirit of joy today, why don't you tell us a little bit? I'm so sorry. My wife prefers a quiet life. I think we should leave her alone. Uh-huh. Honey. Yo-yo. How can you watch your husband outside in the cold? Honey, I miss you so much. Honey, I'm sorry. I made a mistake. What mistake? The porridge this morning was too salty. I knew you wouldn't like it. So next time, I'll use my secret recipe to make something delicious for you. <laughs> no. Last night. Did you sneak out? Oh. Last night, I was... What? Come here. Yo, yo. Five years ago, I left Shen Group. I chose to start my own business. I couldn't make it up to you then. Today, I'll make it up to you. Honey, will you... Marry me? Yes, I do. 